Admiral Locklear assumed command of U.S. Naval Forces Europe and Africa on October 6th of 2010. Uh, again, he's joining us from his uh, ship in the Med, so this will be an audio-only feed from the ship. Late last night, uh, Central European time, two U.S. Air Force crew members ejected from their F-15 E Strike Eagle after the aircraft encountered an equipment malfunction in eastern Libya. Both crew members ejected and they're safe. Crew member, one crew member was recovered by coalition forces. The other crew member was recovered by the people of Libya. He was treated with dignity and respect, now in the care of the United States. The F-15 was assigned to conduct a strike mission against Gaddafi regime missile capabilities. Rendered Gaddafi's long-range air defenses and his air force largely ineffective. It's my judgment, however, that despite our successes to date, that Gaddafi and his forces are not yet in compliance with the United Nations Security Council resolution due to the continued aggressive actions his forces are taking against the civilian population of Libya. First, uh, my intelligence tells me that uh, there uh, are Gaddafi forces in Miserata. Uh, they are conducting attacks against civilians in Miserata uh, and uh, in violation of the Security Council resolution construct. Uh, I'm not going to talk about uh, future operations, but uh, I am aware of it, and we are considering uh, all options uh, as we look across the entire country of Libya. Uh, this country is... Uh, just about the size of Alaska. Uh, the forces of Gaddafi are, uh, were a fairly significant land force that he has arrayed in, in various locations around that country. Uh, we are dealing with it. The no-fly zone is in place. No-fly no zone is effective. We have uh, diminished his ability, I think, from an air defense and an air force perspective to the point where I'm comfortable with a no-fly zone. And then we're going to continue to, to pursue uh, all actions necessary to make him comply with the Security Council Resolution 1973.